In this presentation, uh, we propose adaptive control architectures for mitigating sensor attacks in cyber physical systems. In complex, large scale, multi layer dynamical networks, we have two worlds. The first one is the cyber world of computing and communications. And the second one is a physical or a biological world. These two worlds are merged and combined together and are known as cyber physical system. Cyber physical system uh, are characterized by a large number of highly coupled heterogeneous dynamics. And uh, this system includes safety critical aerospace systems, power systems, communication systems, network systems, transportation systems, large scale manufacturing, uh, economic and ecological systems, and uh, process control sy systems, and much more. A wide range of cyber physical systems involve the use of open communications and computation platform architectures, and therefore naturally these are vulnerable to adversarial cyber attacks. If we consider this problem as a classical estimation and control problem, it only covers the case where we have just a fluctuation about a true value. But in the cyber physical system and in cyber physical security problems, we have measurement devices that are hijacked to, to degrade the performance. So this problem cannot be addressed using classical estimation approach. And since uh, the behavior of the attacker is not known uh, in this case, we, we will use adaptive controllers. There are several approaches for security of cyber physical system. In the first approach, uh, which is classical fault detection, isolation, and recovery, sensor measurements are compared with, with an analytical model of the dynamical system. And by analyzing the residual signal, we can determine if a fault has been occurred or not. Uh, in this method, in practice, it is difficult to identify a single residual signal per failure mode. And also there is a common assumption uh, in classical fault detection, isolation and recovery, that is that all dynamical system signals remain bounded during the fault detection process. And this assumption is not a valid one because uh, especially if, if we have adversarial uh, attacks and that are uh, state dependent. In another approach, which is packet losses or disturbance in communications, uh, communication links are subjected to disturbances, which correspond to packet losses. And uh, the disturbance model is assumed to follow a particular stochastic process. And this model uh, does not necessarily capture the behavior of an, of an attacker. So in order to address the problem of security of cyber physical system, we utilize adaptive control architecture to compensate the effect of uh, state independent and state dependent uh, cyber attacks. Uh, why are we using adaptive control? Uh, because in fixed game controllers, there is uh, always trade-off between the performance and uh, the, uh, the uncertainty. These controllers cannot improve themselves, and also they are all, uh, they are uh, tuned to a worst case uh, condition, and they they assume that the future will be much like the present. And also, fixed game controllers do, uh, do not take into account environmental changes, changes in dynamics, and as structural damages and as you can see from the figure uh, for a fixed gain controller in order to app, improve the performance we need uh, an accurate model on the other hand adaptive controllers uh, they can tune themselves to achieve uh, a given performance and uh, they do not rely much on the modeling they can improve themselves under some adverse conditions and they are not just tuned to the worst case con conditions. And as you can see from this figure, for a, a given model modeling accuracy, adaptive controllers can achieve a much higher performance than fixed game controllers. 
We consider this linear dynamical system x dot equal to ax plus bu. And uh, we assume that the compromised system state is available for feedback, which is x tilde. And it is equal to x plus delta, which is delta is uh, the cyber attack signal. If we do not have any uh, sensor attacks or cyber attacks, uh, delta is equal to zero. And we just simply use u equal to kx to mimic the uh, structure of the reference system. But in uh, in the problem that we are considering, delta is not equal to zero, and uh, we use we, we we are we are allowed to use x tilde in the controller. So we also add a corrective signal v uh, in order to compensate the effect of delta in the system. We consider two uh, main sections: a state independent and a state dependent, uh, which can be categorized into time varying and uh, time invariant cases. So in overall we have four cases and we will consider uh, each of these uh, individually. So for the first case, uh, basically we have a constant delta which is added to our state vector. We propose uh, these two update laws in the red box for delta hat and x hat. Delta, has, delta hat is the estimation of uh, signal delta and x hat is the estimation of our S state. So uh, corrective signal is shown in the blue box. Uh, by applying this, uh, we get the closed loop uh, system in the green box uh, we, in which we defined the error E as x tilde minus x hat minus delta hat. And the estimation error uh, of uh, delta is delta tilde equal to delta minus delta hat. We use uh, Lyapunov stability uh, and we use this uh, Lyapunov candidate function. And since v dot is less than or equal to zero, uh, we can conclude that uh, the closed system is Lyapunov stable. And since v double dot is a bounded term, uh, we can use Barbalas lemma to conclude that the E and uh, delta tilde both uh, convert to zero as time goes to infinity. And also we can conclude that x, x tilde and x hat, all of them are bounded and x will converge to x hat eventually. Therefore, all of the signals that are used in the controller and in the uh, corrective, corrective signal V, all of them are bounded. In the second uh, section we consider a uh, time varying delta which is a state independent we have an assumption that delta is upper bounded by del delta bar and also its derivative is uh, upper bounded by delta dot bar uh, we use the same uh, corrective corrective signal v and uh, for the update laws we use a sim similar terms but we are using projection operator in order to guarantee that our uh, est uh, estimated signals are bounded. By uh, plugging the these in into the system, uh, we achieve closed loop uh, system dynamics as uh, shown uh, in the green box. Again, by using Lyapunov stability and using this Lyapunov uh, candidate function, we achieve a uh, uniform alternate boundedness, and we achieve these two bounds uh, for the error E and delta tilde signals uh, with these uh, parameters. And we can uh, conclude that all of the signals that are used in the controller, all of them are bounded. So the third case is a state dependent uh, sensor attack, which is uh, time invariant. In this case, we consider delta equal to W multiplied by X, uh, for making uh, the computation uh, more easier, uh, we introduce uh, a new parameter mu, as you can see uh, on the right. And uh, we have an assumption uh, that w should be greater than minus 1. And this is a reasonable assumption because if w is equal to minus 1, uh, then x tilde, which is the signal that is available uh, to us, it will become zero. So uh, 
this is a valid assumption. We cannot uh, do anything with uh, a zero signal. So uh, W cannot be equal to minus one. We can consider uh, the similar case if W is less than minus one, uh, but uh, we are considering uh, W greater than minus one uh, for this case. So uh, we propose uh, the corrective signal V in the blue, blue box, as you can see. And uh, we propose uh, the update law mu hat dot, as you can see here. By uh, plugging those in, we obtain the closed loop system dynamics uh, as below. By using Lyapunov stability and using this Lyapunov kinetic function, uh, we obtain that V dot is less than or equal to zero, and therefore the closed loop system is Lyapunov stable. And since V double lot is bounded, by using bubble's lemma, we can obtain that x will convert to zero eventually. And uh, mu sub lambda, mu tilde, and mu hat, all of them uh, are bounded uh, signals, and therefore all the signals in the controller and also in corrective signal are bounded. The last case, which is the most gem general one, is time varying state dependent sensor attacks. Uh, for this case, we consider the delta equal to W of T multiplied by X. And uh, for this case, we also have an assumption that W and W dot uh, are upper bounded. Uh, we propose uh, the same corrective signal uh, with this update law in the, in the red box. We are, again, we are using projection operator in, in order to guarantee that uh, the estimated value for uh, mu hat is bounded. And by using these uh, values, we obtain closed loop uh, dynamical system as this green box. To analyze uh, the stability, uh, we use this uh, Lyapunov kinetic function, uh, V, and uh, we obtain that uh, V dot is less than uh, these terms, and therefore uh, the system is uniform ultimate bound, bounded. Uh, and uh, we have these two bounds uh, on the signal x and mu sub lambda. And therefore, uh, mu sub lambda, mu tilde, and mu uh, hat uh, that is used in uh, the corrective signal v, all of them are bounded, uh, and all the signals that uh, we use in our controller are bounded. Now, uh, we, uh, we showed uh, some illustrative examples uh, for state independent sensor attacks. We consider this system. Uh, and uh, in the figure, you can see the nominal system performance for the case that we uh, do not have any uh, sensor attacks. As you can see, uh, the controller can stabilize the system very well. For uh, the case that we have uh, a state independent sensor attacks and it is time invariant, we consider delta equal to uh, matrix uh, vector 1 and 1. And uh, on the left, you can see the nominal system performance in the in pre presence of sensor attacks. Uh, as you can see, the controller cannot stabilize the system, but on the right, the proposed control architecture can asymptotically stabilize the, the uh, linear dynamical system. Uh, and uh, the, all, all the signals convert to zero eventually. Next, we consider a time varying uh, uh, delta, uh, which is a state independent. And on the left, you see uh, the nominal system performance in presence of sensor attacks, uh, which clearly uh, shows that uh, it cannot uh, stabilize the system. And on the right, uh, the proposed control architecture uh, can achieve uh, uniform ultimate boundedness uh, on uh, the system states. Uh, for state-dependent sensor attacks, we consider directional dynamics of an aircraft. Uh, in this dynamic, uh, the state signal consists of a, uh, of a side slip angle which is in degrees, uh, and roll rate, and also yaw rate. And the control input uh, U is consists of aileron command and rudder command. Here you can see uh, the nominal system performance uh, for the case that we do not have any sensor attacks. 
as you can see, the nominal contour can uh, stabilize the system uh, very well. Now we introduce a, a state dependent and time invariant uh, sensor attack delta as shown uh, here. On the left, uh, as you can see, the nominal controller cannot uh, stabilize the system and it becomes unstable. Uh, on the right, uh, however, the proposed adaptive controller can stabilize the system uh, eventually. Now for the last case, uh, we consider state dependent and time varying sensor attack delta as shown uh, here. On the left, you can see the nominal controller performance uh, in presence of this sensor attack, uh, which cannot stabilize the system. But on the right, uh, the proposed adaptive control architecture can recover the nominal system performance uh, in the face of sensor attacks. And we can achieve uniform ultimate boundedness. So, in conclusion, uh, we showed that sensor uncertainties and sensor attacks can uh, significantly deteriorate achievable closed loop system performance in, uh, with the standard adaptive controllers. And uh, our proposed adaptive control architecture can achieve uh, asymptotic stability for time invariant sensor uncertainties, and it can achieve uh, uniform ultimate boundedness for time varying sensor uncertainties. For the future research, we will consider sensor attacks in the presence of unknown system dynamics, and uh, we will also consider generalization to nonlinear dynamical systems, and uh, we will consider partial state measurements, and also simultaneous actuator and sensor attacks.